I, um, I thought it was time I posted something. If you're anything like me, you'll still be struggling to understand what's gone on. I can't believe Kate's dead. It's just so awful. Steve's been arrested, but no one seems to know why it happened. Goodbye, Kate. I hope you're okay, wherever you are. How could anyone do something like that to Kate? I know she had her problems, but she was such an amazing person. I'm really gonna miss her. There's a memorial service for her on Saturday. I'll post some details on my blog. Charlie's supposed to be organizing it, but I'm sure that's the last thing she feels like doing right now. I've worked out where she lives, so I'm gonna go over there and see if there's anything I can do to help. to actually meet you. <laughs> How the hell are you? When did you... Yeah, listen, I'm sorry, Sophie, I've got to go. Gavin, please, everyone's going to be asking the same question. Um, this looks really weird. Did you get out before Kate died? What the hell's that supposed to mean? Jesus! Oh, wait, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it like that. I'm, I'm just really confused. Gavin, what's going on? I got out of prison because the order made sure the case never went to trial, OK? And now that I've said that, I'm sure you'll all think I'm involved in it, so I'll leave you to formulate your conspiracy theories in my absence, all right? Oh, what do you mean? Why did the order stop the trial? Think about it. What would have happened if that case went to trial? Hey? That there would have been all sorts of people all talking about uh, Kate uh, and the order uh, and Michelle Claw uh, and the Watcher or the Shadow or whatever his name is, and they couldn't have that now, could they? Well, no, but uh, why would they just stop the trial going ahead? I don't know. I don't know how, but they can and they did. And to be honest, I'm shitting myself. Just let's not forget what I was doing when I got arrested. But I've got to go. Have I'm you got sorry. somewhere to stay? Yeah. Charlie? Charlie, it's Sophie. I've, I want to help. Okay, so this is my second week at JustInCredible.tv and it has been flying by. I can't tell you what's been going on just yet, but Justin's been really supportive. He's my boss. And he wants me to keep this blog going to document the countdown to the final launch. Not heard from Tarek yet. So honey, if you're watching, I've left you loads of messages and if you're out there somewhere, it's cool and it's safe to come home. I don't know if you know what's happened. But I think we should be looking after each other now. Just want to know if you're safe. Uh, and Charlie's been organising loads of stuff. Joni? So, oh, Junior. Yeah, someone mentioned Charlie? Yeah, my friend. It's the blog. Ah, oh, the eternal content gathering. You are a star. Are you capturing everything? Yeah. There you go. All the threes. Team. And here. Team. Good team. Alright. Team meeting. We are all looking at the world through the lens of find, play and share. Each one of you is source code. Each one of you is, 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 is a conduit. We are all cooling towers through which our energy will surge and become just incredible dot TV. So, I want you to get one of these, get out there and find me some scratchy content. All right. to say that we have sourced an unconventional face for JustIncredible.tv. They're already an internet celebrity, so I'll unveil all on the next team meet. All right. Oh, internet celebrity, that sounds interesting. Someone with a high profile. Oh, I wouldn't want to get in the way of uh, me being on camera, would I? Yeah? I'm just to take some down, do you? Okay, cool. 
okay. So my trip to see Charlie didn't exactly go as planned. And now I'm more confused than ever. Gav's out of prison. And apparently the order shut down the whole case. Speaking of the order, I can't stop thinking about that hymn of one logo at the scene. I mean, did someone do it to try and implicate them? Or did Kate draw it to show that they were involved? I'm going to go to the Hymn of One headquarters and see if I can find out some more information. It says there's a meeting here today starting at half five. So I'm going to try and have a look around before it starts and then maybe hang around for the meeting. I don't think that's a good idea. Steve, Jesus, you scared me. What are you doing here? I thought you'd been arrested. Yeah, I had, but now I've been released. That's what happens when you get arrested despite there being no evidence against you. And there's no evidence against me because I had absolutely nothing to do with it. They just, they questioned me for a bit and they, they had to let me go. Oh. Why do you think there was a hymn of one symbol at the scene? I don't know. I'm just, I just want to put a few really savage weeks behind me and go to my meeting, okay? Okay, so here's my update. Justin's about to unveil the new face of JustIncredible.tv and guess who's their personal assistant? Me! Yep. I've mapped out their diet for the next three months and I'm going to be handling everything. I've even put some program ideas together and we could be the next Wish and Judy or Phil and Fern of the internet world. Well, All right, it now. it's time. Now, it's a proud moment for us. It's a proud moment for JustIncredible.tv. So, please, team. Give a very warm shower of applause for our latest signing. He's the face of the channel, Lee Phillips. Hey everyone. I wasn't expecting all of this. I only wrote in for work experience. I get you here. Oh my glad to see you. Hey, I'm back. I haven't done one of these for a while. The, um, the last few weeks have been, well, mental, to be honest. Uh, prison was interesting, as you'd expect from someone who's nine stone dripping wet. Although I did meet some cool people, actually. Bagsy, Ledge. <laughs> anyway, if you've seen Sophie's video, you'll probably know that the order got me out of that one, uh, with their somewhat disconcerting level of influence on the British legal system. Still, they haven't been to murder me yet, which, you know, is a bonus. Anyway. Now all I have to worry about is the rest of my entire life. Still really no idea what I'm going to do, but until I come up with a plan, I'll be living at large at Auntie Jones and working like a Japanese beaver in this crap hole. Washing pots. Still, it is good to be free. I'm going to be at that memorial service tomorrow for Charlie's sake. And I know she isn't exactly my biggest fan at the moment either, but I'm going to give her all the support I can. What do you get for somebody that you never really liked? Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, how much does it cost to write Genevieve in flowers? It depends which ones you have, mate. 200 quid? Uh, that one of those, that one. One of yeah. these? Yeah, one of those. Just one of these? Yeah. That's alright, isn't it? It's alright, mate. I'm sure it's a fitting tribute. <laughs> well, actually, I, I think it is. It's about right. That, how, how much does that cost? <sighs> Two forty. Thank you. I wonder if Tarek will be there tomorrow. I hope he sees this and realises that it's okay to come back. I think things all went a bit tits up between us, but... Truth be told, he's he's all I've got. If, if I if I even have got him, I mean I don't even know if he'll want anything to do with me after everything that's gone on. But I hope he is there. Charlie needs all the support she can get, and it should be a pretty interesting day. <laughs> See you tomorrow. <laughs>